Hello and welcome to another year of vlogging with me Susie Cowper and Tea Cozy Folk and it's 2024 and this is the first vlog of the year and because I thought you know it's a new year and a new start I thought we'd have a new look to the vlog so you'll notice at the front and the end the little bits are a bit different just for a change just for fun and I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a lovely new year and I hope you managed to get lots of knitting done I certainly did I've been knitting away and crafting oh it's been great I love Christmas holidays and I wanted to show you one of the things that I've been working on and this is a little haggis and um, it's one of those little critters that lives in the highland of Scotland and he comes out around this time of year, around the 25th of January, when it's Burns Night. And this is a little haggis. He's playing the bagpipes and he's got a funny little nose because that's what haggises have, that funny twiddly bit on the front. And he's got a little tam shanter on. And, and actually, he's a Terry's chocolate orange cosy. And there was a lady who asked me if I would, well, she asked if I'd got a knitting pattern already of a haggis for a Terry's chocolate orange and I hadn't and um, and I thought oh that sounds like such a lovely idea because it can be so cute and I like cute you'll have to knit quick to get a few knitted in time for Burns night but he's lovely so keep a look out for him you'll enjoy knitting him he's cute and there's a help video for the loopy stitch the first tea cozy of the year that I've been working on is the Palace of Westminster now it's a big tea cozy because there's two towers on it. This one's Victoria Tower and this one's Elizabeth Tower. This is the one with the clock and Big Ben, you know, the famous one. So this is the tea cozy. It's a bit of a mammoth thing, but you know, if you want to be fun and be a bit bonkers, this is the tea cozy for you, especially if you love telling the telly off. You know, my hubby sits there, he gets irate telling the telly off when the news is on he's convinced he could rule the world better than everybody else you know and I think a lot of people are like that aren't they and they get you know a bit cross with the politicians and you know and I thought you know people get on their soapboxes and you know and it's quite nice to have a political tea cosy you know just for a bit of fun and um you know and it's tea cosy and a half isn't it it's huge and um, so this is it. This is the Palace of Westminster Tea Cozy. You have to be careful when you use it. You know, it's probably less practical than other tea cozies available, but it is fun. You know, and this year we're going to have elections and, you know, it's just topical. Bit of fun, bit of a laugh, you know, and people like London inspired things, don't they? You know, and what says London more than Houses of Parliament? So that tea cosy will be available on the website on the 11th of January. So that will be there then. And if you want a reminder, just join the newsletter. The link's down below. Join the newsletter and a newsletter will go out to say, oh, it's available. So that's that. That's that tea cosy. I wanted to let you know that the ice cream seller tea cozy knitting pattern will be on the website to download on the 18th of January. I know it's a bit of a funny time of year, but um, he was originally in the Simply Knitting magazine. You might remember seeing him, but he's got an ice cream and a lollipop. And um, yeah, so he'll be on the website 18th of January. So you'll see him there. Newly finished today is the Chinese dragon tea cosy. Look, I love him. He's so cute. And he look at his face. He just looks amazing. And um, his body looks snakes around the teapot. I think he looks a bit like a cat, doesn't he? How his little legs and feet are. But yeah, so he's going around the teapot. And... Um, Oh, and he's got his mouth open and he's got the moustache that they have in the antlers and fiery tail. And he's obviously is for the Chinese New Year of the Dragon, which happens later on this year. And 
the pattern is not out yet, but it will be out this month. So I'll let you know in the newsletter when it's available to download. But it's just such a lovely tea cosy, isn't it? I love him. I think he's brilliant and he's so bright and cheerful, you know. And in the winter months, it's nice to have a bright, cheerful tea cosy. So he's coming soon on tea cosy, folk. You'll see him soon. The last little knitting project I wanted to show you was this little chocolate orange cosy. And it's a really fancy cosy with lots of intricate stitches on it. It's more of a knitting tutorial, really. And the pattern went on the website last week, so it's there already. And for all the, the clever, complicated little stitches, there's a little video. So, you know, I can knit along with you and show you how to do the more trickier parts. But look, you have to attach a frill and then there's bobbles and a ridge. There's a fancy cast off at the beginning and the loopy stitch and you know and just fancy little bits that often crop up in my knitting patterns but you know this is like a little tutorial to to give you some practice really and to you know master the fancier stitches on something that matters less you know because when you come to the big tea cozies you don't want to spoil it by not being able to do one of the stitches so it's good to get some practice in first and the links to the videos are all in the knitting pattern and there's qr codes so you know they're easy to find and it fits terry's chocolate orange just in case you've got any leftover from christmas and and it's really cute and it's brilliant for using up leftover bits of yarn you know because i think three grams you need six balls three grams so you know it's not a lot of yarn to make it up and i put a little bell on top but you know you could find any little charm to go on the top to adorn your little terry's chocolate orange cozy so they're already on and i just wanted to show you for fun i'm working on a little crochet blanket not this christmas the christmas before i was bought this little book and it's brilliant it's got lots of different squares in all different designs and it you know it shows you how to make them all and um and i thought well i could do one of everything couldn't i and i make a blanket and have a bit of fun doing something new and and i thought that would be fun i've got a few squares that i that i've made that i can show you so here's one Look. holy do you like holy ones and then this one looks a bit flowery it's a bit ukrainian inspired this one completely by accident oh this one's look sparkly wintry isn't it it's like a little snowflake in the middle and um oh there's another flowery one flowery i quite like that and um jazzy i do like jazzy i love blue and red together don't they look good so um yeah so i'm working on that just for fun there's no time scale so you know as and when I've got a bit of time, I make a little square. They're all going to be six inch squares. And I thought I might give it to charity. And mum started chipping in and sending me a couple of granny squares over. So that's really nice. And that's it for January. I don't have any more things to show you. Um, it's a bit chilly, so keep warm. And oh, to help you keep warm, there is um, a knitting pattern coming up in this month's Simply Knitting magazine for a bouquet hot water bottle cosy so you know it's got lots of lovely flowers coming out and the bottom where the neck of the bottle it looks like the handle for where you would hold a bouquet and and i was thinking you know i was thinking mother's day wouldn't it be lovely to have like an everlasting bouquet that keeps you warm as well because flowers don't usually do that do they but that was my inspiration i know bonkers but yeah so that's in this month simply knitting magazine i don't know when it comes out but i'll send out a newsletter and let you know but, but yeah that's it then for january and for february i'm working on something for valentine's day i've not started yet i've got to do the sketch but i was thinking two love hearts huggling on the top of a tea cozy you know in a nice embrace i thought that would be romantic and loving you know so i don't know but i'm i'm working on it i'm working on it a sketch will come out soon you'll see the video for the sketch no doubt 
but yeah that's all for now i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i hope you like the new look you know the beginning and the end and um, i hope to see you next month so keep knitting and keep warm see you in february bye